Hey! What do you hear? What do you say, my Facebook friends? Going live here on a beautiful morning, even though it's raining outside. But you need the rain. You need the water. It's it's cleansing. It's refreshing. It nurtures the grass and the flowers. We're in a we're in a, a, a deficit here in New Jersey. We need the water. But that's why I'm playing this song by the Rascals because it is a beautiful morning. Just the fact that you woke up, it's a beautiful morning. No matter how bad your problems are, there's nobody, always somebody worse than you. Trust me. Nice cup of coffee. Yes, I know it's backwards. That's because the camera is reversed. You see, when you go live, all kinds of shit can happen. If it freezes, it's out of my hands. If there's no sound, it's out of my hands. It's all in your hands, folks. Make the best of what's given to you. Let's enjoy the day, baby. What a night last night. The Giants won. Did you see my uh, live Giants post this morning from the locker room? Check that out. A lot of shit you got to check out. VicDiBotetto.net. Go to my YouTube channel. Go to my fan page. There's a pin post to fly. It's got all my dates. And even on the banner on the top, got more dates. My website has all the dates. I got Christmas tree ornaments for sale on my website, VicDiBotetto.net. If you order it now, as soon as possible, ASPCA, you might get it in time for Christmas. If you order it online, you bring it to a show, I sign it for you. No extra charge. That's the kind of comic I am. No other comic does that. Don't you understand? No other comic does what I do for his fans. Meet and greets after every show. Unless it's a big venue like the Borgata. You can't have a meet and greet with uh, a thousand people. So that's why there's VIP tickets out of my hands. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at the venue. You shouldn't be getting mad. You should be happy for me. Kabish. Anyway, uh, this weekend, I will be at McGuire's in Longag Island. That's in Bohemia, Longag Island. I think it's sold out. I'm not sure. Then I go to the brokerage in Belmore. That's also in Longag Island. Uh, go to govs.com for, for all Long Island shows. Governors has three, three places, McGuire's, the brokerage, and uh, Governors. Uh, Levittown, Belmore, and Bohemia. But they also want to plug Uncle Uncle Vinny's is sold out. Look at this, November 25, 26, Thanksgiving Day weekend, Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant sold out. But Uncle Vinny's is producing a New Year's Eve show at the uh, Ocean Place Hotel right on the water in Long Branch. That's December 31st, New Year's Eve. Why not bring in the new year with yours truly? Because it's going to be a better year than 2016, trust me. Just go to Uncle Vinny's comedyclub.com for all the info for New Year's. Uh, what else is going on? I got new glasses, by the way, because I was, I was, I uh, couldn't see up front, so I got the cheap reading glass. These are from CVS. I got like 10 of these. They're all over the house, and I keep losing them. So now I'm good. But then I, when I went for the eye test, I couldn't see far. So I got glasses, two different types. In, in the car, I got... When I want to, when I'm, I'm stopping the car and I read something, I got to put these on. Then when I'm driving, I got to put the other ones on. Then when the sun comes out, I got to put the other ones on. I mean, why don't they just get prescription windshields? Wouldn't that be easier? I don't want to wear contacts. I get very squeamish. Anything that goes near my eyes, even eye drops. I'm like, ah, it's like a clockwork arm. And you're, ah, 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 ah. But uh, by the way, Lucy's not home. Yes, Lucy's not. Where do you think she? Where do you think she is? Home Goods. Yes, she got this from Home Goods. This freaking thing. Everything. This is the, the Pottery Barn explode. This is when the Pottery Barn meets Home Goods right here. But happy wife, happy life. She's my best friend, and without her, I don't know where I'd be. I don't even know how to post date a check. We also got a haircut, and I got a diet. Uh, I got to color it later today. Because over here, I look like Polly Walnut, so the white's coming in over here. So I got the Just For Men. This is my best angle, right here. This, this is my worst angle. Look at this. What are you going to do? It's called getting old. But I never felt better just getting over bronchitis. I took the Z-Pack. And there's nothing like coming out of being sick because you lose some weight and, and you look at yourself and, wow, I lost a few pounds. And I, it's good to be sick once in a while because that's the advantage of being sick. You lose some weight. And then when you get better, you appreciate 
being healthy, right? Let's get some more music here. I need, I, I like to blast the music when Lucy's not home. And plus, she doesn't like the Beatles. And most people know that I love the Beatles. And here we go. Yeah, baby. This was music. You kidding me? Come on. I bet Paul can't hit that note anymore. Believe me, darling. When I tell you. I'll never leave you alone. Here's this next hope. Believe me, darling. Here you go. John Lennon was squeezing Paul's balls to hit the snow. Why is there two songs playing? I hate technology. Oh yeah, gonna be a great day. Seize the day. If you're miserable at your jobs, forge ahead. Here's the bass. Oh, oh, how don't you like the Beatles? The blueprint. The blueprint, the, the Beethovens of, of our century, of our time. That's right. It's like saying, I don't like the Three Stooges. Lucy hates the... How do you hate the Three Stooges? How do you hate Abbott and Costello? Yeah, baby! That's right. That's the Beatles. Oh, darling, from Abbey Road, 1969. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say, my Facebook fans? This song's always scared the shit out of me. It's like a fucking horror movie. This song. Anyway, let's lower it and let's go to some of your comments. Because here we go. Yes, I have Eric, I have all the Beatles CDs also. It Guy Yuma. It's Guy Yuma? Oh yeah, three stooges. I guess that's what you meant. I'm sweating on my upper look at this. My nose is all peeled because I couldn't sleep last night because I still got some mucus in here. And Lucy said, and everything's congested. Lucy said, why don't you get, <coughs> excuse me, why don't you get those nose strips? The nose strips, it's stuck. I couldn't get it off this morning. I'm with a needle nose plier. I'm with mineral oil. I couldn't get it off. And every, it's all peeling here. But at least I slept good. That's the main thing. At least I slept good. A um, couple of things I want to plug before I go to your comments. Uh, Hartford, Connecticut, you better wake up because you're pissing me off. You're breaking my balls. Oh, yeah. When you coming to Hartford? Well, I'm coming. The Bushnell Theater, um, December 2nd. Then I go to the Orpheum Theater in Rhode Island. I forgot the name of the town, but you'll figure it out. It's all on the website, VicDiBotetto.net. If not, go to the, go to YouTube and, and punch in the, 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 the venue, Orpheum Theater, Rhode Island, or Hartford, Connecticut, Bushnell Theater. It's not, it's not rocket science, folks. Help me to help you. Uh, then the three tenors is back in action. The three tenors who can't sing, I'm happy to announce Tom D'Addario is the new uh, tenor. It's me, Tom D'Addario, and uh, Joseph Anthony. We're going to be at the Stress Factory in uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey, December 22, 23. Uh, that's, we all come out, we do our stand-ups individually, then we all come out all together and are on stage. It's like a rat pack type thing. It's awesome. It, it, it's like the Italian version of the blue of the blue collar comedy guys. So I hope you're there for that. But uh, once again, the Ocean Place Hotel for New Year's in Long Branch, New Jersey. Go to UncleBinny'sComedyClub.com or type in, go to do Google Ocean Place Theater, Long Branch. Get all the info. Go to my website. It's all there. Help me to help you. Because some of you, if I don't hold your hands, you, you, you're like, you're like ah, ah, what do I do? You can do it. I have faith in you. Best part of the song. This is when you get laid. This is when you... This is when Lucy looks at me and with that look like, are you fucking kidding me? But uh, last night she initiated uh, initiated the sex, yeah. I walk in, she said, do me a favor, take off your pants. I'm like, whoa, you feel all right? So now take off your shoes, your socks, your underwear. I'm like, wow. She says, yeah, I'm doing a load of whites. <laughs> I'm doing a load of whites. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Try to feel. It's the best in the city. All right, let's go to the comments. Here we go.
You love the glasses? Thank you, Ronald. These are cheap reading glasses from CVS. Eat your heart out. Thank you, Alicia. Alicia, the, I, 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 if I say your names wrong, please bear with me. Now you know what I got to put up with. The Benedetto, the potato, Geppetto. Oh, I'll be at the uh, Parks Casino tomorrow night. Ben Salem, PA, Parks Casino. Go to the Parks Casino website. Click on uh, Conklin's Comedy Night. It's all there, folks. It's all there. That's tomorrow night. All right, I got to go. Because I, uh... What was Paul McCartney thinking hooking up with Kanye West? Could somebody explain that to me? I don't get it. CDs? CDs? See these? See these? CDs? CD? Watch this. Paul! Hey, if you go to my website, I have DVDs for sale. You buy a set of eight, you got a set of coasters. So if not, go outside, go skeet shooting. Paul! Anyway, folks, let's go. I am coming to Boston, Carol Ann. Are you kidding me? It's been advertised for months. The Wilbur Theater, January 13th. And I made a bet with my Boston fans. If I sell it out, the Wilbur Theater holds 1,200. If I sell it out, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna turn the house lights on. I'm gonna turn the house lights. There can't be one empty seat. I will do my stand up with a Boston Red Sox cut. That's right. Yankee fans, relax. I got something up my sleeve. There's always a method to my madness. Relax and stop painting on the Yankees and the Patriots, everybody. That's why people hate the Patriots and the Yankees because they're successful. You see, folks. People hate success, and I'm seeing it as I'm going up the ladder very slowly. People want to bring you down because they're down. Fuck them. You forge your head, baby. You forge your head. Leave nothing in your path. Steve Martin once said, be so good that they can't ignore you. All right, that's enough for me. Let's go to the, the comments. Mario, Mario, I've been to Albany four fucking times, okay? The egg. I've been to the egg four times. Where were you? Please come to Hartford. Oh, LOL. You, 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 I'm glad you put the LOL, Susan. I'm coming to Hartford December 2nd. The Bushnell Theater. Come to Warner Theater. Have no idea what that is. Instead of you people telling me to come there, why don't you come to where I am? What the fuck? It's impossible to play every fucking city in the country. Still building my brand, folks. A lot of work to do. My manager's on the phone relentlessly, day and night, 24-7. Right now, you know, people think I'm a big fucking celebrity. I made it. I got a long way to go. I'm just basically branching out in the Northeast. Another year if I get to that next level. I'm going to get Midwest. The West. Uh, excuse me. Chicago. Well, Florida is fucking New York with sunshine. I'm going to be in Florida. February. Boca and Coral Springs. February. It's all on the fucking website. When you're coming to Mola di Bari, you know what? I'm taking Lucy to Italy uh, in uh, May or is it June? Next year sometime. And Mola di Bari is on our hit list. That's, a, that's a, her family came from Mola. My father comes from Bijelia. My mom's from Torito. Lucy's father is from uh, Rotigliano. I would like to see, it would be like Michael Corleone going back to the roots, you know? I would like to see that. All right, folks. <coughs> Excuse me, you hear it? Still in there. Over a week I got this shit. Over a week. Hey, Dino! Dino I belly just joined. Dino, the owner, the proprietor, the proprietor, the proprietor, and the booker, and the producer of Uncle Vinny's Comedy Clubs. Uh, Thanksgiving weekend sold out. Once again, go to... Uh, Dino, I've been plugging this before I even came on. Ocean Place Theater, <clears throat> uh, New Year's Eve. Go to UncleVinny'sComedyClub.com. I'm also going to be back at Uncle Vinny's January 1st, New Year's Day, and Valentine's Day. How long have you been on tour? I've been on tour, I guess, since I was born. I'm, 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 all, I'm all over the place. I don't stop. I don't stop. No rest for the weary. Don't you understand? Once you stop, it's over. You got to keep going. 
55, never been more energized, more pumped, more focused in my entire life. Three years ago, three winters ago, I was burning wood on a picket line in a fucking a school bus yard in Staten Island. The American dream is still alive, folks. Don't despair. On that happy note, well, I don't, I don't know, it's not happy. I guess it's uplifting. It, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a silver lining, right? Anyway, uh, I got to go because I can't do these too long because people are at work and you people have things to do. I got things to do. God bless you all. Have a, uh, a wonderful day. Be nice. And it comes back to you twofold. Hang in there, folks, because the best is yet to come.